you guys a little scenic route. This is the conduit. Heading over into Queens. Queens. Some of you guys appreciate seeing maybe your old hometown. Especially you guys who moved out of New York. As you can see, moving with a purpose. However, you do have to be mindful of the speed cameras. They're everywhere. You know, because the speed limit in New York City is 25 miles an hour. No, sorry, it's 30. But if they get you on the camera doing more than 10 miles an hour, they're gonna get you a $50 bill in the mail. So, you gotta be mindful. And they're always on ways, in case you don't know, but there's the Belt Parkway. Up ahead is our next service call. Got this business I've been servicing for a number of years. We're gonna go see what's going on. All right, stay tuned. It's me, Mikey Pipes, and Peter Pan. Peter Pan, we need to think of, think of a better name for you though. I don't really like Peter Pan. It's easy, because it's better than me forgetting to call you Paul or Peter or whatever your name is. But we gotta think of a better nickname. But Peter Pan for now is, is, is working. We're opposite the Oyo Hotel. Oyo? Oh, yo, what's going on in there? <laughs> I don't know if you're into trannies, but they're probably there. <laughs> the Oh, yo. We're across here from the Oh, yo hotel. Uh, a a, a non-profit um, organization that houses people. Um, their lobby HVAC unit, which is on the roof, don't work. So we've been servicing this property, which is fairly large, and there's no identification anywhere on it, so you can identify what it is. But we've been coming here for many years, and we actually have a, I think a 20-ton York being replaced next month. We're just waiting for it to come in, rooftop unit. All right, let me get it, the gate open. Let's get the ladder set up, and let's get up on the roof. You're gonna get the, you got the ladder? You got it? You good? All right. We're gonna go up on this rooftop. Right there, there's a unit up there. And there's no heat. I'll grab the uh, the tool bag. You grab the ladder. You having a difficulty with that ladder? You are, aren't you? You gotta put it on your shoulder. That's the only way you're gonna, that's, what's gonna, that's the only way it's gonna work, right? See, look. I got yellow jackets flying around your head. See, look. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Well, they say practice makes perfect, and I guess eventually you'll get it. What's wrong with this picture, Peter Pan? Peter Pan, come on, Peter. He'll get it eventually, guys. I can't do it for him. He's got to do it for himself. Okay, you good? Yes. You sure? Maybe increase your angle of attack. All right, she's stable and secure. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's a painful hour and a minute and thirty seconds watching that. Very painful. There's our victim, the patient, New York. Yep. I'm gonna tell it like it is, cause you may be asking Mikey, why is there a jumper wire there? That's because we already diagnosed the machine. We already went to Johnstone, got what we needed. And now I'm gonna show you how we diagnosed it and bang it out in one trip. See how I feed you because I care about you, because I love you. You're gonna get the 5 16ths on the drill. You're gonna take out those two bottom screws.
Okay, remove that cover. Now, first things we're gonna do is notice how dirty everything is in here. Lack of maintenance. It's been a while. All right, there's our inducer motor. I'm gonna feel it. She doesn't feel hot to the touch, but let's just check voltages and see what we, what we got going on. I do know I have 24 volts because I have a Wi-Fi enabled thermostat, so I'm gonna have power there, three legs of power, three phase, right? This inducer motor, uh, motor assembly get, connects to this Honeywell component. There's your part number if you'd like to see that. So it does say Honeywell right there, our thermostat connections, C, G, Y, W, and R. And we, I text, checked the little fuse there, make sure nothing was popping there. So I got power there and I got power there. Let's trace these out. These two go right here to the control. So I have 110 volts there and I have 110 volts there. We're gonna take the voltmeter and we're gonna see if we have 240 volts between that terminal and that terminal. You good? Hold that. Make sure we feed them because I know they're hungry. They All right, good. Now, hold that. I am touching this terminal over there and this one right there, and you're gonna see I have 210 volts, 220 volts. So, my inducer fan assembly is not coming on. Now, you say, okay, Mikey Pipes, you need an inducer fan motor. Let's go to the supply, let's go get one. Let's take things a step further, ladies and gentlemen, right? There's a reason why that little jumper was there. That little jumper was here because I jumped out the pressure switch, which is expecting that draft motor or the inducer motor to run, right? As you can see, it's disconnected, right, though, anyway. But if I jump out this pressure switch like that, right, we should see some action with thing. There's the click of the gas valve. And I hear flame. See? There it is. Okay? So I know that my ignition system works. The smart valve, which, they, listen, they don't last forever, but this Honeywell smart valve is a very expensive valve. It would really suck if I went. All, I, I took an hour out of my day to go round trip to the supply house to get this inducer fan assembly, and then have to tell the customer, "Hey, listen, I gotta go back. I get. I gotta get, get you. Eh, I gotta get you a new gas valve." No bueno. We do it one trip. Be smart. All right, let's swap out this inducer fan motor. All right, there's my indu inducer motor assembly in there. Now it's gonna wire to the control and then turn on power. All right, I got some new red silicone tubing. I use Subco, there it is. This is the 3 16 and I'm connecting the port on the inducer motor assembly to the pressure switch. Now I'm just gonna make sure that those wire connectors are nice and snug. We're gonna turn on power and then we're gonna wait to see, wait for the thermostat to call. So the thermostat's gonna boot up and it's gotta you know, go through the whole startup sequence. If I wanted to, I can always jump R, hold that. I can always jump R and W like that. And as you can see, the inducer fan assembly kicked on. And shortly thereafter, we're gonna have ignition coming from the smart valve on the pilot assembly there. And like you see, voila, we have ignition. Ignition! Houston, we have ignition! So, take off the jumper. And I'm gonna do someone a solid. It's gonna leave it there for the next guy. All right, so we'll let that finish starting up and we are good to go. Let's um, clean up all the debris, put the tools away. And before we leave, let's just check out. Oh, you didn't put it where it belongs. I'm very anal about that, by the way. Everything has a certain spot. Maryland envelope. All right. All right, so we, no, go ahead. We have our call for heat. It's working. I'm gonna put the access panel back on and just give everything a good visual inspection. Make sure everything is working good. A lot of you guys wonder what I use to create my content for my videos. And I use an iPhone 13, one terabyte. And I have two of them. Here's one in my hand here. This is that I actively use to conduct business. This is my, this is my, this is my best friend right here. And because when I use my iPhone, I don't like to be interrupted by phone calls. So when I'm recording, I don't want to be, you know, have any interruption. But the primary reason that I use a separate phone to record, you know, my content for this channel 
is that I also use iMovie on the iPhone. And when I put all the clips together, and by the way, I don't edit anything out. You know, sometimes it's like it's dead, you know, silent, you know, time where I'm just thinking or reviewing something. So I try to minimize like this, that wasted time. But everything's uncut, unedited, raw. And yes, that's right, raw. So I take all these clips, I put them together in iMovie, and when I, I hit process or save movie, that is the longest part of the job, right? Because yesterday, for example, I posted a 75 minute long video on my first day with Daniel's brother, Peter, Peter Pan, and the processing took 45 minutes. Yes. To save that video as a file, it took 45 minutes. And then I had to upload it to YouTube. I was basically hovering over my Wi-Fi around like a helicopter, like, da, 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 right? And it took almost, it took almost, I think, 25 minutes to upload. And I'm basically hovering right on top of the Wi-Fi router. Yeah. But it was a great video. It was a great video, and I gave away a lot of magical wrenches. And if you're watching this during a premiere, and if this video happens to be a premiere, if you want a magical pipe wrench, you need to, ex we need to exchange something that's, that's very considered personal. And that is, you need to smash that super sticker or super like button. And you need to donate something, even if it's 99 cents. 99 cents or better will get you a magical wrench. Of course, the more is better because you're supporting the channel, which helps me create more and more video. And maybe one day we'll have an excellent production crew. And maybe you could be more hands-on. All right, the unit's up and running. We have the hot exhaust gases leaving out of this vent assembly, All right? She's an old mama. But she still works. All right. Mikey Pipes signing off. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.